Hi, you crafty folks. Amy here with Amy's Wares, and today I'm going to make a fun stenciled encouragement card. Now, this is the new Pikes stencil. This is a six by six, and I have the all to new stamp set, which is an older stamp set from A Colorful Life Designs. I have my blending brushes from all to new, and here's a photo of the finished card. This is an easy, basically single layer, with the exception of that sentiment strip. Um, encouragement card and I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Now I don't have any pixie spray on this I'm just using my magnets on my magnetized glass mat from Glassboard Studio to hold everything down. Uh, the connection points on this stencil are pretty close so it's not going to move around too much on me so I felt I didn't need the pixie spray. Now I picked out a smattering of warm colors and I'm just going to do some ink blending um, using these few colors all over right on the card front. So this is actually a US A2 size card base that I'm working on, um, 120 pound accent opaque. Um, and that's four and a quarter inches by five and a half. Now this stencil is one of many new geometric stencils from A Colorful Life Designs. This is part of the April release. And this month is a little bit different because she's got some bundle options. Now, if you aren't familiar, she offers something in the store called uh, Master Creator Bundles. So if you have that uh, gotta have it all full set syndrome sort of mindset, um, or you just really love this particular release, she bundles everything together and gives you a big discount of 20%. Now, with the stencil bundles, you can't use my coupon Amy Fan 10 on top of it, um, but it's such a good deal just to be able to get all of them for 20% off. Now, what's a little bit different this particular month is that she has two stencil bundles. She has one of all the geometric stencils and one of all these fabulous, funny, snarky sentiment stencils. So be sure to check that out. I'll link everything below. And if you do decide to shop, please do use my links. It's no additional cost to you, but it will let Mary Kay know where the sale came from, so I'll get credit for it. Now something extra cool about this month, and I'm not sure when this video will air, so it's possible that it may have been over already, but during the first week, she's also bundling the 12 new card bling, um, card bling sets. So if you want all 12 of the gorgeous new colors, which I wouldn't blame you because they're amazing, then you can actually get those at 20% off. And the cool thing about that is you can use my coupon Amy Fanton on top of that. But again, that's only the first week of April. So um, depending on when this airs, that may or may not be over with, but you will still be able to get the bling in the shop. Now you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I just made a strip on a scrap piece of paper and I'm just dumping this gold embossing on it because I want to see if it's dry. And as you can see, it's not. So I'm going to brush that off and hit it again with my heat tool just to make sure that this ink is fully dry before I move on to the embossing step. Now I wanted to tie in some of this gorgeous gold wow embossing powder with this sentiment um, from this beautiful stamp set that came out, uh, I think it was quite a while ago, August, a couple, not last August, August before, but I absolutely love this stamp set. I think it is so encouraging and meaningful and I love the fonts that she used. So I'm using this one. Um, to put on the front of the card as you saw because it's related to mountains and I feel like the Pikes stencil itself looks like mountains so it worked out really well. Now I'm stamping some clear embossing ink. I have this loaded up in my Misty and I'm going to stamp it down a couple times and I got my press tool there from my friend Pat and I'm just going to press this a couple times and then coat it with the gold embossing powder and then hit it with my heat tool to melt it. So I've recently kind of um, started using these WOW embossing powders. I had always used Brutus Monroe before, which they're both, honestly, they're both great. I love both brands. Um, but WOW was kind enough to send me quite a few of these to try and I absolutely love them. I feel like they're just so pretty and the way they melt is just so nice and even. Um, I did decide to start from the back. This is optional. I always start from the back if there's any sort of glitter in the embossing powder just because I don't want to shoot the glitter all over the place. Now this didn't have glitter, just this gorgeous metallic, but I decided to start from the back um, and then the second it kind of melts, I just go over it a little bit and then leave it be. Now I decided to carry the con carry the design onto the inside of the card with some very subtle ink blending, just using some residual on the brushes. You can barely see it on screen, but it's there. <laughs> and then I decided to use another one of the stamps from the set on the inside of the card, also using one of the same colors that I ink blended with. So it says, sometimes you just need to change your altitude. 
So I think that's such a cool kind of clever way to again tie in the whole, you know, mountain theme with altitude and things like that. So I'm going to stamp this on the inside of the card. Again, use my press tool. Make sure I have a nice even impression. I think I'll stamp it one more time just to make sure it's nice and rich and even. And then that will tie in the color as well from the front of the card. Now this I'm just going to pop up with some of my thin foam strips that I have here. I get these from Amazon. I have a few of them together to make it thick enough. Um, and I'm just making sure it's nice and even all the way across because it will go across the entire front of the card. I'm going to use my Judy tool to pull off the backers um, from this adhesive. And then I will place that down on the front of the card. So in a moment, uh, once I stop fighting with these backers and get it off, I will be showing you my container of all my gorgeous card bling from A Color for Life Designs. It's been so fun to get all these different colors um, and kind of, you know, organize them because, you know, organizing your craft supplies is a whole other hobby. Um, if you don't know that, uh, I'd be surprised because I feel like all of us have that automatic secondary hobby if we if we're into card making. So here I'm fussing with it a little bit just to make sure it's nice and straight because it's an otherwise very simple design and I want to make sure it's not all cockamamie on the front of the card. So here is my current <laughs> solution to hold all of these. I got these containers from Amazon and they work perfectly. Now the set actually has all different sizes of containers. So I've been kind of mixing and matching and readjusting as I go as my collection grows. But this right here works really well. I have kind of all the neutrals. This is satin matte gold. This is one of the new ones from the, the April release and it matches that embossing perfectly. So I'm just gonna lay a smattering of these down on the front of the card with my liquid glue um, in odd numbers, three on the bottom, two on the top. And that's basically gonna finish the design. So what I was saying about these containers from Amazon, there's all different sizes. So you can kind of, you know, maybe put your neutrals in one or your warm colors, cool colors. Um, it's a nice set for lots of crafty organization. I have it not just for this bling, but for inside my drawers and things like that in my craft room. So I'll link that below if you're interested in those containers, but so far they're working out great for me. Uh, my jewel picker tool here, I'm just gonna use that to help me lay these down. And that is going to finish the cards. So basically check out all of these amazing stencils, the geometric release, the snarky release, and all of these 12 colors. They are so gorgeous. Totally my jam. So I'll link all that below. Again, use my coupon AmyFan10. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for spending time with me. Bye.